Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my quick analysis on Halo CE's grenades. Now before the analysis begins, there's one thing I want to say. And that's the fact that I've already reviewed these grenades back in Halo Reach. Well, at least when it comes to their lore and shit. So if you're interested in like their lore and like extra features, uh, go ahead and watch my Reach reviews. This might be the last time I mention this, as I've already mentioned this previously. And going forward, I assume there isn't going to be a lot of lore or information and features I can show off, as I've already done a lot of that in my Halo Reach weapon analysis. So if you don't see any of that, basically around the beginning of the video, that means I've already done a lot of that back in Halo Reach. So with that being said, let's continue. You can carry up to four grenade types. That's either four frags or four plasmas. So you can kind of hold a total of eight grenades, which is ridiculous. And the fastest you can throw grenades are around 1.03 seconds. And what I mean by that is the moment you press the button to the moment you recover back to neutral. As for the plasma grenades, one unique trait they have is they're able to stick to organic targets. When it comes to their blast radii, for both the frag and plasma grenade, their damage output is the same. They take out all of your shields and one health block. In the case of the frag grenades, the blast radius I was able to get was around 7.2 meters. As for the plasma grenade's max blast radius, I was able to get around 5.7 meters. And again, the damage output is a shame. Takes out all your shields and one health block. And then when it comes to the grenades landing right underneath your feet, they both do the exact same damage output. Taking out all your shields and five health blocks. Alright, that's pretty much it on Halo CE's grenades. They're really simple, yet effective, and consistent. I think the plasma grenade should be able to instantly kill, even if you didn't stick anybody, just due to the fact that how long it takes for them to explode. I'm also aware of their physics manipulation when it comes to other weapons in the sandbox. You know, like being able to nade rockets to yourself, you know, stuff like that. I didn't showcase that because one, I'm not that skilled with that kind of thing, and two, that's leading more into the realm of being a guide rather than an analysis. But alright, that's pretty much it. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, share the video around, subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts on these grenades, and until next time, peace.